What is happening? What is going on? You absolute bunch of legends. So what I'm gonna do in this video, previous video, I show you I showed you how to create guard rays using volumetrics. I thought I would just show you how to create guard rays, light rays in Blender without using volumetrics. So let me show you how to do that and you can use it for scenes that you want. I thought I would just make this video. So hopefully you're gonna enjoy it. First thing you want to do is go shift A, mesh, and we want to get a cylinder. And then you're just gonna scale it like this. So go here to scale and scale it like that go to x g and bring it up to like this then what you want to do is hit tab click on select select this go s scale it in to something like that so we make it a bit more narrow and then what you can do is you can click on this bottom one and then go s to scale it up and that is how you have created that then what you want to do is select both faces so make sure this is selected and you're going to select that one and then hold down shift and select that hit delete faces okay so now we've deleted both those faces then what you want to do is you want to add some loop cuts so there click there add a loop cut add a loop cut loop cut loop cut loop cut loop cut there there just add a couple doesn't have to be too many like that's perfect hit tab right click shade smooth then what you want to do is you want to go to shading boom and we're going to go here and what you want to do is hit new so with your cylinder selected just hit new let's bring this up let's go g and bring this down so first thing you want to do is go shift a and we want to get a noise texture put that there get a texture coordinate so again shift a and type in texture you don't have to probably type in the whole thing coordinate with this there and then you're going to take the normal and plug it into the vector of your noise texture and then what you want to do is you want to plug your factor into the alpha if i go here now give it a chance you can see it's starting to create that nice raise and that's all we want and then what you want to do is you want to go to your mission and you want to bring the strength up to let's just make it one just so we can see it a bit better and if i go here can see this is what it looks like then what you want to do is you want to drag this here drag this here and go shift a and get a color so a mix color boom put that there and then you're going to change this from mix to multiply then you want to drag this here and you want to drag this there and get a shift a and you're going to get a separate xyz and you're going to plug your z into b of your multiply your basically your color and then you're going to take your generated output of your noise texture um, of your texture coordinates into the vector of your separate xyz and then what you want to do is you want to go shift a and you want to get a color ramp plug this in there and then hit plus drag this there drag this one in and then just click here and it's a bit darker you can see what happens there so you want to bring it like this we can make this even darker so let's just go here and click here and make it completely dark and then you're going to change this from linear change it to ease and you can see if you bring the factor up what happens there it just eases it better so now you've got those nice light rays like that and if i click here you can see it's what we want so if i click there and i go r and i rotate it you can see what's happening it's giving you those nice rays then what you want to do is you want to just click here and you want to go click on your multiply and go shift d to duplicate it and plug it in there then what you want to do is you want to put this here and you want to go shift and you want to get a layer weight node and you want to change the plug the face into b and that just smooths it out a little bit makes it look a little bit nicer you can see if i bring this all the way in or if i bring it all the way down it allows you to basically this is where you will be able to adjust your intensity of your rays which is pretty cool and then what you want to do is plug, put this here put this there and go shift and get an invert node and put this there you can see what happens if i do this now just smooth it out you don't really need to do this but it does make it look a little bit nicer and then if you want to just make it brighter so if i make the world completely dark got that you can bring your strength of your emission so yeah you can bring this up 
and then play with that and then you can play with your factor like that so you want to make it too bright okay but you can bring this down you to like there and you get a nice raise you can see you've got those nice quad rays and you've created just using a cylinder it's really that easy and there we go you can see how that looks it looks quite nice so you obviously have to just play around with it you can also change your color if you want also pretty cool but yeah i thought i would just show you how to do it without volume if you want to do use these this method you can do it like this i will just make a video on it but hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video peace